Hello, hello. This is the Awful and Awesome Entertainment Wrap, episode 298. This is Rajeshree Sam. This is Abhinandan Sekri. And this is Abhijit Tangat. Who is a subscriber. And many of you are familiar with Abhijit now because you've presented two Awful and Awesome Wraps in the past. One. Breakpoint. But I've also been on uh, NL Playoffs. So oh, Playoffs. Oh, okay. Okay. I've discussed so, a few things there. Uh, he's a sports enthusiast. In the past, he has uh, also been here pro- propagating... Hmm. A sports document, which is what the one you had. Uh, Breakpoint. Uh, Breakpoint. Breakpoint. Correct. Tennis. You're a tennis nut. Correct. So as you can see, we're collecting subscribers who are keen to and able to co-host podcasts with us. So if you too have an area of expertise, like his is clearly sports documentaries, area of interest, write to us at podcasts at newslawny dot com. Repeat podcasts at newslawny dot com. In the subject line, please write co-host. And in the body of the mail, write what is your specific area of interest slash specialization. So, Rashi, we have uh, four things on our list today. We have the Cadbury series of ads. Yes. Although they've been in the news for, for Boost also. Bon Vita. Huh. That's a separate company. Huh. <laughs> uh, then we Boost. have a series, hmm. a brand new series. We have a sports documentary, which is Abhijit recommended so that he could come here. <laughs> And we have a movie which I'm sure only I've watched because these guys are really lazy. Yes, of course. I'm impressed that you watched it, but I have a theory on why you watched it. I told you. No. Which is uh, so the film we are going to review is Megan, which is a horror film, and the only reason Abhinandan watched it, according to me, is because he was on a flight and there were lots of people. So if he got scared, someone would come and. Just calm you down and piss on me. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's something to distract you from that's the horror. Like, oh, oh, so <laughs> <laughs> because that's what happens on yeah, flights. Yeah, nowadays these. you have to be a little careful. No, it's just that since I uh, had gone to the US for that conference, and by the way, yo, shout out to all the subscribers who made it to a subscriber meet. I was overwhelmed. We have such wonderful subscribers all over the world who offer so generously. Their time, their resources. Some of them offer their property <laughs> to run offices mm-hmm. from. So I'm amazed at how uh, you know generous our subscribers are. Thank you all so much. So I'm going to be in London on the 10th, 11th, and 12th for a conference. So if you want to join us for the subscriber meet there, please write to us at subscription at newslawny dot com. I repeat, subscription at newslawny dot com. In the title line, line, please write London subscriber meet. We'll first start with. Boom, boom. Achha, you I know what's the theme song of the? I haven't watched Q's. anything other than this Megan. film. So I'm only here for my looks and to make cheap yeah. jokes. I have no other valuable input to provide. And because one. you're here, he's not going to interrupt when you are reviewing. But sure. everything I review will be interrupted <laughs> every two sentences. And then if I do the same thing, he'll throw a pencil which will go into to my eye. You know the theme song of the Boris uh, documentary? Boom. No, जब भी मिलते हैं हम तुम नहीं हो आंखों आंखों में होते हैं गुम बूम बूम लेट्स गो बैक टू माय रूम बोले बूम बूम तू मिला मिला सहारा बिन तेरे नहीं गुजारा रोज नए सपने दिखाने वाले ओ बूम बूम नाजिया हसन Remixed Biddu was the music director, but with it Alisha was relaunched. Chanai. It was Alicia. No, that was Anupama Verma. He shot it with, and I interviewed Anupama Verma. That was one of my first few interviews, and I joined News Track, and I was given the entertainment story to do. So, Boom Boom is about Boom Boom. The world was. I have to do that. Sorry, the world was as Boris Becker as a two-part uh, documentary on Apple, and it's about the rise and fall of Boris Becker. Because it's been a spectacular fall, poor thing. And the rise again? Oh no, he hasn't risen. Again. Little rising has happened. Yeah, he just got out of the prison, so yeah. you know. Now we have to some, give him some time. Yeah, but it uh, it's uh, directed by Alex Gibney, and it has interviews by just name the tennis player, which I think it is especially from our generation, which is much older than yours. <laughs> These are tennis players who we watch playing in their heyday. So there's the only person they don't have is Pat Cash. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty he was much. much later. From, uh, no, but he's there in the documentary because he's still, which shows. Uh, they showed a bit of Steffi Graf as well, but the yeah. interviews are from Beyond Borg, John McEnroe, uh, uh, Agassi, Agassi is there. Then Michael Stieck. Yeah, Michael. Uh, then uh, the guy who I think is totally mad, Djokovic. Yeah. Then uh, it's just very. So they show the. Do entire... they have any footage of his life, or is just talking heads? No, no, of his life, the training. They have footage. Nick, so yeah, there's a great vintage footage actually. That's my favorite part of the documentary. I mean, the visuals, the old Wimbledon documentaries, you know, footage from that, yeah. that, that is spectacular. Actually, so there are two parts of the series. The first one is called Triumph and the second one is Disaster. And then they are named uh, uh, Triumph and Disaster because when you go to Wimbledon, uh, at the main entrance area, uh, there there are these two lines, uh, which yeah. are from the If poem by Rudyard mm-hmm. Kipling. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. So the entire uh, document is about his, you know, triumphs and disasters. So you got goosebumps? Uh, yeah, actually, I have that tattoo on my right leg tattooed on me. What? So the, that, both those the lines. lines? Yeah. Uh, because it's on Wimbledon or because it's Rudyard uh, Kipling's poem? Both actually, because that was my favorite poem when I was in, when I was in school, and then uh, and later you learned that it's on. Uh, at I got to know that it is at Wimbledon as well, and then I got it tattooed. So uh, yeah, so they are they're slightly long. The yeah. first two one hours, is yeah, two hours. Four hours in, yeah, four hours in. Yeah, total. but it doesn't flag for a second, and this you're like that uh, Serena Williams. What was that um, film, King Richard? Uh, the drive to do well and to so he doesn't come from a poor background yeah. or anything he comes from quite a decent like what you'd call middle class over here but this german drive also to excel at everything and that they had these great sports figures to look up to and how he used to practice with steffi graf yep it as in just to keep him busy, not that she would like she she was an up and rising uh, player at that point. There are these ads that we are also going to review. Cadbury's ads. It's a two or die situation for India. India wins. <laughs> Our Indian team ke khushi mein shamil ho kar dekhiye. Cadbury Dairy Milk. कुछ अच्छा हो जाए कुछ मीठा हो जाए सो अभिजीत यू सीन द एड्स व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट द एड्स और द कंट्रोवर्सी व्हाट हैपेंड विद बोंगिटा अबाउट द कंट्रोवर्सी ही नोज अबाउट द कंट्रोवर्सी आई नो अबाउट द कंट्रोवर्सी ओके द सो द कंट्रोवर्सी इज दैट कैडबरी सूड सम well they sent a legal notice of some uh, uh, he's a blogger who writes on he's come back from the states to look at how pharmaceutical companies and products and all are I, are they misrepresented? Uh, so he basically so he does basically this. Basically, yeah. does these, you know, reviews of all these things, and he said that their products are full of sugar, and they took him to court. He pulled his this thing down, but other people picked it up on. Mm-hmm. So what? Yeah. So I, I am someone actually who actually drank Bon Vita while growing up, and I still once in a while I do, you know, if I want to. You're if I'm tall, healthy. Well, I don't think that's. It was because of that. It was probably because of uh, you know uh, the nutritious food that my mom <laughs> gave me. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's really horrible. Like uh, the older I'm getting now, I'm also being very careful about you know what I'm eating, what I'm drinking. And uh, if you go to a supermarket, if you read these packages, yeah, it's just absolutely the... horrible. The sugar and um, all the artificial ingredients hmm. they put. And uh, yeah, I think someone is talking about it finally. It's a good thing. But Abhijit, I have to say with a lot of sadness, I am saying with a lot of sadness that Kamal ki hypocrisy is my. He walked into office with a Red Bull can. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Okay. One so, second, let me finish. But he's not twelve okay. now. He, he walked can't into the Red Bull can. I didn't want to say anything because he said the uncle is judging me. Because <laughs> when I saw him, I was like, it's the middle of the day. We're recording this at four thirty in the afternoon, huh. and this young subscriber in the peak of prime of his youth. Is drinking Red Bull and then he's sitting in and pelling very bad. Too much sugar in cup. Meta, I am going to charm her. Let's go. It's objectively, I mean, I, I'm dispassionately, not objectively. Dispassionately, I, I feel that it's not. I mean, it didn't do anything for me. I had certain serious problems. It either twenty second film, the cheering film, dance film. Neither is UV nor is Harbhajan a good actor. That's too contrived. It's too yeah. like they are a little better than Dada. He's the worst actor. That. Hero Honda huh. ad like that's the worst ad done by anyone ever. But and Harbhajan for a Punjabi 
when is he's doing graceless yeah but yeah he is, both at least of them bhangra should be graceful better, yeah. Yeah. so both the ads not graceful suck but very contrived huh. the excitement huh. then the other two and a half minute that message is too long i think it's a point that one can legitimately make that other than cricket hmm. other sports don't get the kind of support public support here i mean there's a very i mean there's a reason around that but anyway i won't get into that but i do think it it was it i would rather they don't make this ad than make people who are playing hockey tt saying we feel very demotivated when no one is watching us and we're playing in an empty stadium you don't beg for support this patronizing where the cricketers are saying oh they you should support them and all also it's uh, it was a very poor taste so also sorry. it was very poorly made na if they'd made it a little better maybe and that two and a half minute or whatever it was was very long that same message over each sport there were athletes from each sport or something like five some six. sports you can't have each ha, sport not otherwise each. it would be a three hour <laughs> thank no. god <laughs> i'm surprised they didn't make it a three hour this day but uh, the irony that it's a sports related uh, ad campaign when on the other hand they are giving children It's fifty grams of sugar for each hundred grams in the packet. You better be correct. It's correct. Because if I get a legal notice, no, na, you are going to pay for it. Ha! Okay. This is correct. It is on the back of the packaging. That what does it say? Fifty grams of sugar per hundred grams in so the packet. Half so half sugar. Half is sugar. Okay. So what they should have actually done is said, "We have put all the facts out there. Now, if you did not read the packaging." and you bought it and ragged that you offered instead of suing this guy so but uh, so the irony is uh, not to be missed that's all the video for today the rest of the podcast will be in audio only format uh, but do subscribe before i go and pay to keep news free because when the public pays the public is served when advertisers pay advertisers served we have a new nl sena project we have a crew of about 6 or 7 going to karnataka to cover the karnataka election That's a lot of money for the six hundred people to eat, stay, everything. So, because we don't take ads, and as you've seen, suddenly the ad frequency of political parties has increased on newspapers and television channels. Guess how they're going to be funding their entire uh, uh, coverage, uh, election coverage through ads by big industrialists. Guess whose friends they are, and political parties ads, ads. So it makes sense to you that that's how news should be funded if it does <laughs> welcome to democracy of a very warped kind but if you understand that is not how news should be funded do go to newslearn.com click on subscribe or better still click on the NL Sena project and give us some more money so that we can report news funded by the public for the public rather than funded by advertisers for the advertiser on that note the rest of it is an audio only The subscription model is something that keeps news on your float but we need hundreds of thousands of people to completely transform the news ecosystem so you pay for news so it serves you so click on the link with this video subscribe to news laundry and pay to keep news free aur garv se kaho mere kharch par azad hai khabrein